Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, Open Web Application Security Project, London Chapter. Um, my name is Sam Stefanian. I am the chapter leader, and the chap behind the camera is Sherry Ponsum, our chapter co-leader. We're very friendly guys. Come and talk to us if you've got any questions about us. Somehow you all managed to find us this evening. Uh, those of you who are here for the first time or you want to come to the next event, we usually run this once every two months. Uh, you can find out when the next one is going to be on by either joining our mailing list, which is a very low volume mailing list. We promise we're not going to spam you. You can follow us on Twitter as well. We don't tweet that much. Usually, that's probably the best way to find out when the next event is on. You can like us on Facebook as well, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. So those of you who are unable to make it, or for example, next time you can't make it to the event, all our events are video recorded and they're all going to be on YouTube, so you can watch them in your spare time. And those of you who are developers and using Slack, we actually have a channel on Slack as well, so if you go to allwasslack.com, and there's a chapter, with, uh, chapter London channel there. So here's the agenda for tonight. I hope you all had a bit of our networking and you had pizza and drinks. I'm going to uh, do my update in a minute, and Sharif is going to talk about uh, one of the projects that we have. Um, uh, then we're going to have a talk from Kevin on uh, building application security program. Um, uh, then we're going to have a lightning talk from David. He's going to talk about um, how cross-site request forgery uh, mechanism can be defeated, uh, especially in AngularJS. Then we're going to have a break, and we're going to have more pizza and beer. And then uh, Arseni from Moscow is going to talk us about uh, some interesting things in uh, Chrome browser extensions, and uh, I can use the uh, post message uh, to break that. Um, and then we're going to have more networking here in the local pub, and I'll announce uh, which pub it is or at the end of the talk. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Telegraph Media Group and Stefan Freeman, the Chief Information Security Officer, uh, for hosting us in this wonderful venue. Uh, as you know, we now been roaming after Skype offices shut down in London, so every single event is now a different venues. And, you, and you, if you are working for a company, you can offer us a similar venue, conferencing facility for 100 people, uh, microphones and a projector, then please do come and talk to us because we need venues. Okay, now I'm gonna ask uh, Stefan to uh, 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 talk about health and safety and introduce the Telegraph Media Group. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Telegraph. Um, I'll get the health and safety bits out of the way um, first. Um, the most important thing, toilets are just out the door here on the right hand side. Um, and if there is a fire alarm, please follow the directions of the security um, staff room and chaperone. Um, I'm not expecting any fire alarms, and, uh, so it should be alright. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is the Daily Telegraph. Um, while you're milling, you might have noticed the large glass panel behind you. Um, by way of a little explanation of what all that is, um, that's uh, essentially where our journalists are. We have This building used to be a uh, um, part of Solomon Brothers. This used to be a bank that used to be trading for. Um, and when City took over Solomon Brothers, um, they moved out and we moved in. Um, and we have, what is it, roughly 450 journalists who, who are primarily based in this building. Um, and on the back wall there are some projectors and uh, when you get a chance to break and have a look um, there's actually a graph that shows real-time number of hits on the site plus number of hits on particular stories which, uh, which helps to sort of identify what's trending and what isn't. Um, a couple of stats if you're interested, um, I'm going to tell you anyway if you're not. Um, <laughs> we get uh, roughly 380 million page views a month, uh, 84 million browsers monthly, um, we publish roughly 15,000 stories a month. Um, we make about 900 videos. Um, so we, you know, it's quite a big operation here, but it is now digital first. So there's more stuff goes on the website than actually goes on the paper. Um, but if you want to know more, then come find me in the break. And um, yeah, over, back over to you, Sam. <laughs> Very briefly about OWASP, those of you who don't know, we are a global uh, not-for-profit charity 
um, our main focus is improving software security. We are completely vendor neutral. We are supported by vendors uh, or our sponsors, but uh, everything we do is completely vendor neutral. Um, so um, we found a very interesting description of what OWASP is, and I think uh, Dennis and Peter really liked it. Is we are the collective wisdom of the best minds in application application security worldwide. Um, uh, I think that is a self-explanatory statement. And those of you who are going to explore OWASP more, you will find that we provide free tools, free software, and software for implementation testing, free frameworks, free guidance on how to write secure applications, how to make sure it doesn't get hacked, uh, uh, free guidance on what are the most uh, frequently found vulnerabilities in software, uh, very well known OWASP top 10. Uh, and we also create some standards like application security verification standard and uh, software shields uh, uh, maturity model. Uh, all our meetings are free, and free beer and pizza is included. So, the uh, um, interesting thing about this is that we are all volunteers, so we're all doing it for free. So, uh, myself and Sherry, as chapter leaders, will contribute our free time to organize these events, to invite speakers, uh, to uh, talk to venues and organize these events. Um, and we have 45,000 uh, volunteers worldwide. In the UK, there are several chapters as well. So. Uh, a chapter leader of OWASP Bristol is here, Katie. So you come to talk to her. Uh, there are chapters in Manchester, in Leeds, uh, and uh, Sheffield as well. So uh, there, there are quite a few of them. Most of them are actually in the north. We, for some reason, have no chapters down south. So if anyone wants to open an OWASP Brighton, I'll be very pleased. There's nothing there. I have no idea. OK, so you don't have to be an OWASP member. So membership is actually uh, a donation to uh, OWASP charity, <coughs> and yeah, there are two types of donations, individual and corporate one. So individual donation is only 50 US dollars a year. Uh, obviously that gives you um, participation. Well, if you donate 50 dollars a year, what do you get, right? First of all, you get discounts to a lot of cybersecurity events worldwide, including application security conferences, um, and sometimes you get some really, really good deals. Like whenever they happen, I usually publish them on our Twitter feed or the mailing list as well. Uh, uh, corporations, uh, so they, if you are a company and you want to join OWASP, uh, as some companies do, you can see these are the companies who sponsor OWASP London, and these are the companies who provided hosting for our events. So Skype, Expedia, Imperium, JP Morgan, last uh, event was there in January, and the Telegraph, uh, you can see the logos here. And Worldwide, we have uh, about 80 different sponsors. You can see their logos over there. I'm sure there are people from these organizations here tonight. You recognize their logos. I know there are people from Synopsis, from Merco, um, and uh, still, um, uh, it's a big list. Okay. So, what do you do if you if you uh, donate to OWASP as a corporation? Of course, you get your logos. Uh, you get books at the uh, Education <coughs> Security Conferences. So you get you get to bring your freebies here. So um, Elena from Veracod brought us some freebies as well. And brought some OWASP freebies as well, guys. So we've got um, some freebies to um, give away. So please do make sure there's nothing left on that little table after the conference, after this event. Um, uh, also, there are some really, really big companies which sponsor us uh, by making really, really large contributions. These are the companies who are quite serious about uh, helping application security and improving um, security of software. These logos are on the screen. Okay, so, um, and uh, since we're talking about freebies, uh, there is one more freebie I would like to tell you about. So everyone who is here tonight is gonna get a free uh, technical book on Node.js security. So uh, again, that's a kind of the foundation. There's a URL there, it says free Node.js book, you got to quickly. So if you're a developer and you want to improve the security of your Node.js applications, <coughs> so once you go there, and I'll, say I'll show the slide after the um, event as well, um, you can download this book for free. Okay, so uh, this is all the free stuff. Now what is not free? Uh, OWASP organizes three major conferences per year, and they are in Europe, in America, and in Asia Pacific, and they're called Application Security. So the next application security conference in Europe is going to be in UK, in Belfast. Those of you who don't know, Belfast is part of UK, it's Northern Ireland. So and yeah, those of you who can grab a Ryanair flight for 24 pounds, 
you can hear there and under an hour. Right? So um, the week starting 8th of May, we're going to have a week-long conference. Uh, but it's actually the, the conference itself of two days. It's 11th uh, and 12th of May, which is Thursday and Friday. But 8th, 9th, and 10th, right, um, which is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, there's going to be a training. And it's actually really, really good training in Belfast. Um, so it's actually organized by OWASP Belfast chapter. It's not the people of the chair from OWASP Belfast. And I just want to show you the slide, I'm not going to read it through. This is just an example of training you're going to get. And usually the training you get on application security is actually a really, really good deal because you get it from the best experts in the field and at a price which is I think, something about 1,000 euros for three days is nothing. I've been on training courses for I think 5,000 more expensive. Okay. So uh, that is about this event. So this is not free, okay? But if you're an OWASP member, you get a discount. Unfortunately, you missed out on an early bird discount. But uh, still, if you're an OWASP member, you'll get at least, I think, 100 euros off uh, 400 euro admission charge. And if you're a student, if there are any students in the office uh, in here, you're gonna get quite a even bigger discount. So uh, OWASP is trying to deliver this message to students and uh, um, usually all the events are provided to them with a very good discount. Okay, so the next event, which is not free, I'm going to talk about, so was it, this is in May. The next big event is going to be in June, and that is OWASP Summit. Okay, so the, at the summit, uh, we're going to have no conference, it's going to be a long week, and that event is going to be in Center Park, St. Bedfordshire, and there will be no presentations, it will be just workshops, so the big people, if you get a chance, you can well, you can grab a villa and live in a villa. That's the whole idea. You can enjoy you know, all the facilities, tennis, swimming pools, and stuff like that. The idea is we get everyone to work on a particular topic. Okay? No presentations. It's all right for the <coughs> workshops and for experts to actually move things forward. So these are some, some examples of uh, topics which are going to be discussed. And if you want to find out more about it, uh, Dennis Cruz. Uh, it's one of the organizers, he's here as well tonight, so um, you can talk you through this. The next event which you're going to get a discount is B-Sides London. So B-Sides is one of the largest community-driven conference in the UK, and it's very technical. It's uh, uh, mostly for hackers and pen testers, because there's a lot of stuff about malware and ransomware in there. That is happening on 7th of June, and uh, I think some of the organizers are in the audience as well. So uh, yeah, if you want to attend, uh, we will be there as well. Um, so that is the conference there. Um, now the next project I want to talk to you about before we move to the uh, um, main talks is something called OWASP Cold Spring 2017. So it's a program uh, which is just kicking off for, uh, again, for students uh, to contribute to OWASP projects. And the students uh, will get some uh, monetary reward for it. Actually, my colleague Sharif is going to talk about it. Yeah, hey everyone. <clears throat> hey everyone. So, starting from April 3rd, there should be an announcement on there. We aim to start around the uh, 28th of April, and they should finish on the 19th of June. So, if you're interested, uh, please apply. Uh, we've sent some of the links uh, on Twitter, which you should have. But also, if you want to contribute, um, the uh, OASP uh, ZAP project uh, also is uh, looking for interns. And it'll be about three, th three months. They'll pay also a little bit more than that. Um, if any of you guys uh, know the OASP ZAP pro project, it's a web application security pen testing tool, but also for web uh, developers as well. <coughs> and um, I also uh, um, am one of the core uh, team members and uh, the product manager there. So if you're interested, please let me know. Uh, you can also reach us at um, uh, the, the um, uh, dev group, which we've also uh, tweeted uh, there. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay, and I think now we're going to move on to our um, main talks. Uh, so let me introduce you to Kevin Delaney, who has traveled all the way from Toronto and Canada to be here. He landed just a couple of hours ago and was really, really worried that he might not make it, but it's a miracle. He's here. Um, 
So uh, Kevin works at the uh, Security Compass in Canada. So yeah, there you go. It's all yours then.